Hi there, my name is Imogen Weatherhead and I'm the founder and CEO at Cudini and this is just a presentation to help our clients to understand how they can better promote their appointment booking offerings for in-store and virtual services. So by using an appointment booking system, you're able to increase foot traffic, to acquire new customers, and to also increase sales and loyalty. So just some stats from our customers. One of our clients found that 60% of customers booking appointments were new customers to the brand who don't previously visit their stores. So it really shows that the appointment booking services can help to acquire customers. We've also found some of our clients have doubled foot traffic to their services by enabling customers to book appointments online. Some of our clients have increased their store conversion by 10%. Others have increased their overall customer average spend. And they're also finding that customers are being more loyal to the brand, whether that's in-store or online, as a result of their appointment services. So in order to reap all of these massive benefits, it's very important to let customers know if you're offering an appointment booking service and to let them know everywhere and anywhere possible. So we've created this webinar to help our clients to do so by helping them to really define an, an amazing offering that stands out in the market, helping them to make the most of digital marketing methods, helping them to be omnipresent in all of their offline advertising content Content, helping them to strike customer attention with in-store promotion and also helping to communicate their offering using Kirini functionality as well. We've created this pack for anyone who, despite their marketing background. So we explain a few key concepts, but if you do have a marketing background as well, this will just be great inspiration for some new ideas. So Kirini offer appointment booking software that helps customers to schedule appointments, whether that's online or by their phone um, from a QR code or even by talking to someone via a contact center in store um, or a host with a tablet in store as well. And why appointment booking matters more than ever in today's retail landscape is that it's becoming increasingly competitive in the retail sector. That's because of online, that's because of the circular economy and many, many reasons. But in order for brands to stay consistently relevant in order to capture the hearts and minds of all these modern customers, it's really important that they are consistently omnipresent so they can be interacted with across all these different marketing channels and sales channels and that there's some way of connecting those methods and also increasingly relationship focus so moving away from just being about transactions and, and converting the customer here and there to in building a long-term relationship with them that converts not just in store but also online as well so the future of retail by 2050 is expected to be 50 percent stores versus 50% e-commerce, whereas at the moment it's at about 80% store sales. So it really does show an importance to be omni-channel and omnipresent and to do that now to stay ahead. And that's why we're seeing so many retailers in the market offer in-store and virtual appointment offerings. And this has been particularly driven since COVID that means customers want to stay safe by just booking the time that they come into store and being really efficient and having great service in the, in the process whilst also ensuring customers can, if they want to stay at home, book a virtual appointment and just stay at the comfort of their home and have the appointment from there. So throughout this pack, we visualized all of our ideas for promoting your appointment booking offering through this fictional luxury retailer that we've created called Cutie. And so when you see any of our pictures, you'll see Cutie to just bring it all to life for you. So the first step to promoting your appointment booking offering is defining a powerful proposition and offering that stands out in the market. And this is just some key tips to get you started. So first of all, it's important to name your offering. Be really clear and relevant. The name should explain what it is you do and the service that you're offering. Be on brand, be unique and bold, so differentiate and stand out in the market. And also make sure you're consistent in your spelling and your capitalization of it across the business. So some examples of great names for appointment booking services are the Apple Genius Bar, iCos Coaches, and the Nike Buy You Bar, which is their kind of customization bar. For Cutie, our fictional retailer, we've called it Cutie Style Experts because they are this new stylist service that helps customers to get tailored style advice that suits them at the time that suits them. Next, it's important to define a value proposition. So kind of put pen to paper and write down what your value proposition is. And your value proposition should be a single short declarative sentence that 
firstly explains your offering and secondly is clear on the benefits that you're offering. And this value proposition could change over time. A value proposition should be written in the language of the customer. So why is the solution exciting to them? It should be really, really easy for them to understand and it should be very clear on benefits that they'll receive and how the service works. It should be read and understood in under five seconds. It should be effective at driving a customer to an action and it should be a little bit creative while also succinct. So some examples we've created for this QD stylist service are book an in-store or virtual appointment with a QD style expert for personalized style advice that suits you. Or a campaign specific message might be discover a new look for the new summer season by scheduling an in-store or virtual appointment with a QD style expert. So you'll see in both of these what we've done is explain what the service is, you book an in-store or virtual appointment, and explain what the benefit is, is that it's personalized style advice that suits you, or for the campaign message, it helps them to discover a new look for the summer season. Next, you've then got taglines and slogans, which are optional but really interesting. A slogan or a tagline would creatively condense your value proposition into just a, a very short few words. Um, so for QD style experts, for example, we've used the tagline suit yourself. It's meant to capture customer attention. It's a little bit, oh, what does that mean? And why is it saying that? And it's also kind of creatively explaining what the service is and that customers can book the appointment at a time that suits them and they can get style advice that suits them with the right clothing and suggestions for them. So yeah, that's our message there. And then next is really important to define your call to actions. So call to actions will be used across your campaign content, usually as buttons or in posters as kind of headline statements. When you create a call to action, it should be relevant. It should often be a button if it's on a digital channel and the button should be interactive, bolder and bigger and more colorful than other text on the page so that it really stands out. It should use really relevant text that explains what you do and nothing too generic. So something like book an appointment rather than just book. Or you could use kind of urgent messaging like book now, which kind of encourages people as long as it's just below something that explains what the service is. And it's also really good to use verbs within your call to actions to inject motivation and to be authoritative. So something like book, choose a time, schedule, really encourages customers to take action by using verbs. So now you've defined your offering, it's important to bring this all together, bring together your kind of bold brand offering, your service name, your compelling call to actions, your powerful value proposition, and to multiply this across all of your sales and promotional channels. And the ultimate sum of that is to drive more appointments that lead to more sales for your business. So now I'm gonna start with some ideas on how you can share this across all of your promotional channels starting with how you can make the most out of digital marketing methods. So first of all, it's really important to make your appointment booking offering loud and clear across your website, as that's the key place where customers are gonna book online. So some of the key areas you can include it are firstly on your homepage, like loud and center, either in the header, or you could include it in one of these subsections here. You can also use entry pop-ups to tell customers about your new appointment booking service. You can also use banner messages here to pop up and tell customers that you offer appointment bookings for virtual or in-store services. You can also include a button in your navigation bar, or you can make it front and center of your store finder tool as well. It's also really important to have some kind of SEO optimized landing page that is a, a separate page on your website that talks just about your appointment booking offering. And the benefit of that is you can kind of use keywords like appointment booking within QD for style experts, all in a single page and in your page titles and meta descriptions, so that if customers search on Google book appointment QD, this page will come up and they'll have the exact links where they need to book an appointment. You can also add it in your store finder, so you can put it in these buttons here on your kind of individual store pages or when people hover over a store. Houdini also offer our own store finder tool, which lots of retailers embed into their appointment booking landing page as well. So customers can find their store from that page as well. Or if you're doing virtual appointments, you can include a separate button somewhere here, for example, book a virtual appointment if you can't make it into store. 
You can also include it within your individual store page and we really recommend that so if people are searching a specific store they can find how to easily book an appointment within that store and Qdini's appointment booking platform enables kind of embedding at different stages of the journey so you can take the customers straight to book an appointment within the store they've selected on your site. And as well some retailers are including booking appointments on your product selection pages. Often websites just have you browse and you have the option to add to basket and buy from a basket. There's no step in between, but this kind of creates that step in between for customers who like a product but want to understand more about it or don't feel quite ready to buy. You've got a, an opportunity to build a relationship with those customers that's going to make them more likely to buy rather than abandon their basket. You could also include links within your basket as well. Putting the appointment booking offering links on your footer is also great because you can then include it in your sitemap so that Google will recognize it as a key offering and a key part of your website. So now that you've included appointment bookings on your website, it's time to think about how you can promote that across different methods online. In line with the idea of kind of creating this service information page, you can actually create multiple different landing pages about your appointment booking offering. And the purpose of that is A, to use lots of different keywords. So for example, book an appointment versus schedule an appointment with QD style experts. You might use one on one page and one on the other so that no matter what customers search, it will come up top of Google. But also for A-B testing. So you can test which drives traffic. You could also create different landing pages for different audiences so maybe one for men one for women so you can really use landing pages to play around and, and to be experimental in what you do every landing page should have a very clear headline and sub headline you can use a brief description to explain what your service is so your value proposition it should have very clear CTAs again it should be optimized for mobile of course and you can use at least one kind of engaging image to show customers what the service is or the benefit of the service Next, you obviously want to use SEO optimization across your site for getting seen by some of the key search engines around your appointment booking offering. And so looking at what are those keywords? What will customers search to find your offering? Or what would they search in general if they wanted style advice? And how do you make sure that your brand comes up front and center when they do? So you can use a number of different research tools to find out what are the best keywords to use. You can search everywhere to see what other competitors and other related brands might be doing. And you can also, it's very important to be relevant and specific with your keywords. So use long tail where you can. If you're too generic, for example, online appointment booking, then you're not going to come up front and center. So something like online booking for style advice with QD style experts uses a number of keywords, but make sure that you are kind of using long tail that tailors the search engines to find your site where it's relevant. Um, so in our pack, which you can easily download, we've written some suggestions of keywords you'll want to think about. Book an appointment, make an appointment, book time in store, make a booking, visit store, find store, for example, and then be kind of industry specific so that you show up top within that industry. So if you're beauty, then kind of book beauty appointments. If you're luxury, book luxury styling appointments, for example, and so on. And then you also want to be kind of service specific. What is the service you're offering? So like makeup styling or VIP something something services. And to include that is quite important within your landing pages. And after that also being kind of consumer focused. So what is it the consumer is going to want and what is it that speaks to them to make sure it kind of generates clicks. So an example sentence that you might include on your landing page to include these keywords could be book an appointment to visit our designer clothing and beauty store and receive detailed personal shopping services with one of our style experts. And you'd want to include some of those words in your kind of H1, H2 headers and also within your page titles and meta descriptions as well. You can also, this is a kind of page title and a meta description and how it shows. But if you include stuff in this messaging, you definitely want to also thread those words throughout your website. So this is what a page title and a meta description looks like and where those kind of keywords would show. And then you also want to make sure you thread any keywords used in these in through your page content as well so that Google respects it and recognizes it. 
You can also use image title tags as well. So it's always great to make sure your images use kind of relevant JPEG files so that if customers search images, that will show up. Another place that you can promote your appointment booking offering is on your Google profile. So you can include a link just to appointments and the exact link where the customer can book their appointment or just your general website as well. And that really shows customers when they're searching for a specific store that they can book appointments and get service from the front and center of Google, which is a great thing to do. You can also use Google Ads or pay-per-click. So PPC stands for pay-per-click, and you're basically purchasing visitors to your website. And you can do that by using keyword ads or also display ads. You could kind of just be generally advertising your product, but include book appointments or appointments within some of the key content that shows up on your main site page or on your main ads. Also, you can use social media. That could be just posts about your appointment booking offering, which is great to let customers know it exists. But you could also do it in your general adverts where you can say, visit our website to buy this product or book an appointment for personal styling advice. So you really wanna start leveraging your appointment booking offering because it's your second main thing that you're trying to drive customers to. If they're not gonna buy straight there and then on the website, then you wanna drive them to appointment booking as your kind of secondary action point. You can also use Twitter. So Twitter is a kind of massive channel that's often used for complaints and communicating with brands because it's so quick and easy for customers to do it. But you should really get your social media team to use your appointment booking offering as a way to turn negative conversations and complaints into positive action. So if a customer's complained they had to wait in store or they've said they didn't get good service, you can say, really sorry for that. Actually, next time you can book an appointment here and we promise to give you a better service or something. So really let customers know about it and turn complaints into positives. You can also use Facebook as well. So this could be your overall Facebook page for the brand. You could include a book now button there. And you could also, if you have individual pages on Facebook for your different stores, you can include the book now button there. One of our clients doubled appointment booking traffic just by including this book now button on their Facebook page. So it really, really is powerful. You can also include appointment booking links within your Facebook ads. Next, you can also communicate with customers. So don't forget to tell your customers directly about your appointment booking offering. If you're doing any email marketing campaigns, it's great to include it as a footer at the end of every marketing campaign. So it's the secondary action after shop now, book an appointment, whether that's virtual or in store. And again, also you can do so in your SMS messages that you're sending to customers. For example, if you're a phone retailer telling customers that their contract's up for renewal, you can include a web link where they can book an appointment to come and visit you to discuss it. The next thing is also how you can include online appointment bookings within your adverts. So we surveyed 2,000 consumers and found that between 40 and 50% of customers said they would be willing to use QR codes within a retailer's adverts in order to book appointments within their stores. You can do this by just in your kind of general offline adverts, like whether it's at a bus stop or in the underground station, include a link to your appointment booking website. You could include QR codes. We recommend having kind of an image of a, of a hand scanning the QR code to show customers what to do. But you can really then start to convert your offline adverts into store footfall, which is really exciting and interesting. And you can also do the same with print ads as well. Next is also letting customers in store know about your appointment booking offering. So for those that have come in, walked in off the street, let them know that next time they visit, they can book an appointment. And you can do this with point of sale advertising, for example, business cards that you can hand out to customers or flyers that talk about the offering. Catalog brochures generally could include your appointment booking offering and also kind of desk signs, particularly desk signs for empty desk, like if a particular advisor is not there on a specific day, you can tell customers that actually they're only in on these days and the customer can scan to book the appointment. And again, there you see we've got the hand that's scanning the QR code, which is massively boosts the number of customers that will scan the QR code because it shows them what they need to do. You can also use window easels, so where you've got kind of big merchandising displays and promotions talking about your products and your new campaign in the window, enable customers to book an appointment from there, or lollipop signs within the store that enable customers to just learn about your appointment booking offering as they're browsing the store. So we've got a few tips on how to optimize your 
appointment booking signage. So one of the things we recommend is keeping the call to action very, very clear and loud at the top, using the image to show customers what to do with the QR code, then having kind of your value proposition, which explains what the service is and the key benefits. And if you want to explain how customers can book, you can include three simple steps or just a very simple sentence that tells them what to do. We've got a wider pack on how to optimize your appointment booking signage. Some other places, again, you can promote your appointment booking offering are on your windows via posters and also using your kind of this store is closed sign. You can tell customers how they can find the right time to come back to your store when it's open. You can also use digital signage. So digital signage is great because moving images draws customer attention. So why not include a message on your appointment booking offering that customers can easily see? And also on any kind of desk wraps focused on your service or kind of your reception desk or host greeting point can tell customers what the service is and that they can book an appointment as well. Then finally, you can also use Qdini functionality to promote your appointment booking offering. First of all, if you're using Qdini for managing walk-ins, what you can do is within your messages that tell customers about their queue position or their wait time, either while they're waiting or a kind of post-visit survey message, you can also include a link to tell customers that you can offer appointment bookings. So for example, if a walk-in has come in and they don't want to wait for service, they have the option to easily convert to book an appointment to come back another day. If you're booking appointments for customers in store, they might not know that they can also book online or via your app. So you could then include a link to remind them if they've about your online appointment booking offering from your appointment booking emails. We also have a number of customers using our self-service kiosk app to enable customers to book appointments easily from display devices or just a kind of simple kiosk within their stores. And for retailers that are using our TV signage display, whether that's for appointment bookings or for queuing or both, you can also show your kind of upcoming appointments and you can include rotating messaging that can promote your appointment booking offering to customers in store as well. And lastly, your store associates want to know that they can book follow-ups for customers. So if you're using Qdini for appointment booking or walk-ins, we have this pop-up at the end of every service that gives you the option to finish serving the customer, but you can also really, really seamlessly transition them to book a follow-up appointment to get them to come back another day. So finally, one thing that's really important to do is to measure the success of your campaign, because then you can figure out what's working best and where to reinvest your marketing budget. We've kind of thought about this metric, which is understanding your cost per customer driven to store. And if you can figure out basically your investment in each channel, promoting appointments, how many bookings were made on that channel and how many actually turned up to store, you can then work out roughly what it costs you to drive a customer into store. And you can then reinvest in these channels that are working most. And within Qdini, if you're using our online appointment booking widget, you can create multiple different versions of that to help you attribute traffic to your different campaign sources. So you can have a different interface used for your online ads, your Instagram versus Facebook, for example. So you can really kind of track sources of traffic. Then we've looked at kind of what an attribution model might look like for marketing. So understanding like what was the marketing channel and then what percentage of people saw the content. So how many people looked at your appointment booking widget, which we can show you in the Qdini Analytics platform, how many appointments were made and how many of those appointments actually showed up and then which of these customers converted to a sale and how much did they spend. And all of that can be helped to measure within Qdini's different functionality. And then within Qdini, we've got a really rich data platform that helps you to analyze the success of your appointment booking activities. So first of all, you can have a different widget per campaign to analyze how many customers are hitting each of those appointment booking widgets and analyze how many are converting through to appointments from your different sources. You can understand how many customers came and hit your appointment booking widget and which of the pages they went through to before they booked an appointment. So your overall kind of page conversion. Using IP address, we can understand where your customers came from, so which country, city, town. And we can also show you what different devices, browsers, and operating softwares your customers are using as well. So you can really start to understand your customers from an analysis perspective, but also your campaign success so that you can again reinvest in the correct marketing channels. 
and doing so will help you to drive more appointments to store and that ultimately leads to more sales with more new customers which is obviously a great thing so thank you so much for watching if you'd like any more information on our appointment booking offering or any more advice on how you can best promote your appointment booking offering please feel free to get in touch or if you'd like to discuss any of our other products like virtual queuing our occupancy management app task management or also event booking if you're looking to also do many to one events as well as your kind of one-to-one -one appointments please feel free to get in touch Thank you so much for watching.